What's up class and welcome back to another lesson in the no mod shop class here on the school zone. So one of my viewers asked me if I could create a little turret bunker for one of my lessons. I think what he was talking about is called a pillbox in military lingo. It's a sort of half buried concrete dugout where turrets can get off a clear shot during a siege with maximum protection. Sort of like a trench sniper's nest. Anyway, that seemed like a quick and fun video I could crank out for you guys before my next longer Outer Worlds video. I'm gonna be building it over at Sanctuary, so we'll head over there in a second. But before we get to all that, it's time for a peek at this month's Wall of Fame. As you know, I feature the names of my amazing Patreon supporters once a month on this year Wall of Fame. And here are my fantastic Patreons this month. I really want to thank you all for helping me get a little closer to doing YouTube full time. Now for those of you watching the playlist in order, it might seem like every other video has a peek at the Wall of Fame, but that's just because I'm posting other videos in between those videos. For example, my Outer Worlds videos. I know it seems like a long ad for the channel, but the Student Council really is helping me get closer to doing YouTube full time, especially with the decline in ad revenue that all YouTubers have experienced over the last year or so. So if you want to help support the channel, jump over to my Patreon page and see what you can do. It does make a difference. Okay, hop on the school butts and let's ride over to Sanctuary. We'll build this puppy. See you over there. All right, guys, here we are. I'm going to build the uh, turret bunker on this uh, flat house foundation and then move it into place someplace that I think it might be more appropriate, like this little area right here, because I have some turrets down there. But then if raiders come from that direction or make it past those turrets, then they'll hit these turrets right along the road. OK, so let's get started I'm gonna go into workshop. And then we're going to head over to defense. And you can use any turret you want. The laser turrets and the missile turrets might be pretty cool too. But since those require wiring, I'm not going to bother with it right now. But uh, it's definitely worth it, especially now that you know the Wi-Fi glitch. So I'm going to set up two turrets right there. And I'm going to put those on rugs. So let's uh, get out a couple of rugs. That way we can situate these things right where we want them. All right. So for the structure, I'm going to go ahead and use material from the concrete section. And I'm going to use these concrete walls, okay? Now, it'd be better if they didn't have those bars in the way because the uh, turret uh, barrels will run through the, the metal rods. But, you know, it's the best we got. Actually, you could probably... Let me just take a look here. We could probably use something from... Let's see here. You could probably use these. These kind of look like turret bunkers, but they're also really tall. So you won't be able to sink it down into the ground quite as much to make it look like a uh, like a turret bunker. See how the end, the top of that is just really close to the window? Okay, so we're going to set that up right in front. And then I'm going to get a couple of these half walls... And what we want to do is we want to set up the half walls. I'm going to go ahead and move these turrets out of the way so we can just build the structure first and then get those into place. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off with it sitting on flat ground. Okay, so we want these half walls to be running along the inside of the wall, not on the edge. All right, so for example, that would be snapping it to the edge. This would be snapping it to the inside, okay? And then we're going to get one more of the flat walls. And we're just going to attach it to the outside, okay? So we have this little pillbox here, which right now it isn't, <laughs> but it will be, okay? So, what I'm going to do is just temporarily take off this concrete wall. Move these turrets into place. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to move these 
up, which in this case means moving this whole thing down. All right, so what you can do is group select and then just sink it down into the ground. Pretty much as far as you want to go. So let's see how that works. That might be just about right, actually. Actually, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Out like that. You'll see why when we put this into the ground. And then I'm going to fit that one right there. And this one right there. Okay, that uh, looks good to me. Now, I suppose it's possible to fit a third one in there, but uh, it might be running into each other and look weird. So that's fine. I think that'll work. I think if you use the smaller laser turrets, you might be able to fit more in there. Okay, so let's see if I can fit this onto the back before I snap this. Let me get a better vantage point here. Perfect. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, let's see here, I'm going to Yeah, I just uh, wanted to set up those stairs so you could see what the top of this looks like because a regular roof is going to be too big for it. So what we're going to do is actually not use the roofs, 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 <laughs> and uh, we're going to use these smaller pieces right here. But these will only fit into this gap right here, including the outside. So what we're going to do in this case is actually pillar glitch that in there. So let me find a place where I can do that. And then I'm going to get out some... Now we could use a pillar, but it's going to run into this thing and it's going to want to snap into it. So instead, what I'm going to do is use another trick I've shown on the channel before, and that is to use the scaffolding stairs because these don't snap and you've got a lot of room to work with, especially these right here. Oh, and it's raining. Should I go sleep? Yeah, I might as well. By the way, I just wanted to point this out. This is interesting. See how it's uh, raining outside and you can see the rain you know, coming down pretty hard out here. Well, with this uh, artificial ranch style roof that I put on here, check this out. There's no rain in here. I actually never bothered to notice that. So it appears that video that I made called the uh, perfectly re-roofing sanctuary, it appears to stop the rain. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, just wanted to point that out. On to resting till a sunny day. Okay, we are back to a sunny day. So, what I was doing was, I was getting out some of these scaffolding stairs, and I was explaining how, especially the really tall ones, you can have fairly far away from the actual object that you want to stair glitch it with. See how it's not very far, but if I select it, well, I have to move it maybe a bit closer. Let's try it again. See how it selects that as well? And this will allow me to uh, stay away from the concrete wall while still moving that into place. Okay, so the reason I left those stairs is so we can see what we're doing. So what you're going to do is group select the stairs plus the... Um, actually, you know what? I want to sink these down some so we can raise it up into place. Okay. Now... I can climb up these stairs and we can orient ourselves so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Just wanted to get a little platform so I could see. Okay, now you can group select this. Oh, you have to refocus it. Forgot that. So, now... 
I can slide this over and raise it up. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to sink the stairs just a bit more. Okay. So let me do that real quick. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. I know what we have to do. So what we're going to have to do is actually grab this thing, this whole little pillbox, move it into place where we want it, and that will lower the ceiling, and then I can use the stairs to get those into place, okay? Now the cool thing is, is that if you just refocus one of the walls, you can actually group select this entire structure, and now we can, uh, here, let me push it away from me just a little bit and rotate it. Bam! It pressed and right in the face. Okay, and now we can sink this down into the ground and make it look like a little hidden pillbox. Now, because the um, barrels of the turrets droop like that, you may not want to sink it down too far because they will raise up to ground level or, you know, parallel to the ground when they start firing at enemies. But until then, they're going to hang low, so to speak. So we'll just get those right above the ground. And I think it looks good. That is pretty sweet. Okay, so let's get this roof on here. I'm going to um, group select these stairs just so I can see what I'm doing. And now we can group select these stairs and the roof. Just remember to refocus every time you do this so it doesn't turn red on you. And for those of you who haven't seen my tips video, refocusing just means... Tapping on it, selecting it, and deselecting it, okay? So, I'm going to move this over, rotate it, and then sink it down. Okay, see? We've already got blue. Now, all you have to do is just get it situated to right where you want it, and I may have gotten it. Wow, that's pretty cool. May have gotten it on the first try. Almost, almost. Okay. Now, you can just raise it up and down just until... It turns blue or green or whatever your HUD color is. Perfect. Okay. Now I can store those stairs. There we go. Store this. Store that. And we've now got a uh, a little pillbox turret nest. It's pretty awesome. If you wanted to, you could even put a uh, guard post on top of this. You know, it won't quite look the same, but uh, you could um, put some stairs up there and then put one of these things right on the front there and uh, have a guard on top of the pillbox. The other thing you could do is it's a little cheesy and not very realistic, but you could have the concrete wall window with the mesh on it. And if you put this in uh, instead of the open window, the barrels could actually stick out through the mesh and still fire on enemies while being 100% protected from enemy fire, okay? Um, like I said, it's a little unrealistic, a little cheesy, but if you're going more for the pragmatism uh, instead of the realism, then I would go with this kind of wall because then they can't hurt your uh, your turrets at all, no matter what. It just won't go through... The, uh, the mesh, yet the barrels will still fire because, interestingly enough, the bullets come from the barrels, not from back here. The way it's situated now, they are very well protected, but they can still be fired upon. But to me, this looks more realistic, you know, even if it is still going through that iron bar. And that's about it, guys. A really clever mode of protection for your settlements that looks stylish, yet still sort of out of the way. It might even be kind of cool to hide it in some bushes and stuff, you know? Anyway, thanks for watching and supporting what I do here on YouTube. And be sure to subscribe and share this video around. See you soon with a new Outer Worlds video. Happy building and class dismissed.